Hello. In this video, I will be talking about the effects of CO2 being released into the atmosphere, as well as focusing on ocean acidification. In order to understand the effects of CO2, we have to know where it comes from. In chemistry, a combustion reaction is a type of chemical reaction that produces carbon dioxide and water. More specifically, a combustion reaction is a major class of chemical reactions, commonly referred to as burning. Combustion doesn't always result in fire, but when it does, a flame is a characteristic indicator of the reaction. This leads to CO2 being released into the atmosphere. Atmospheric carbon dioxide comes from two primary sources, which are natural activities and human activities. Natural sources of carbon dioxide include most animals, which exhale carbon dioxide as a waste product. However, human activities that lead to carbon dioxide emissions come primarily from energy production, including burning coal, oil, or natural gas. The carbon cycle is the process in which carbon travels from the atmosphere into organisms, into the earth, and then back into the atmosphere. Plants take carbon dioxide from the air and use it to make food. Animals then eat the food and carbon is stored in their bodies or released as CO2 through respiration. When humans burn fossil fuels, the stored carbon is released into the atmosphere as carbon dioxide. The carbon is then free to cycle through the earth and can upset the natural balance of the carbon available, changing the way that processes occur on earth. As CO2 is absorbed from the atmosphere, it bonds with seawater forming carbonic acid. This acid then releases a bicarbonate ion and a hydrogen ion. The hydrogen ion bonds with free carbonate ions in the water, forming another bicarbonate ion. This free carbonate would otherwise be available to marine animals for making calcium carbonate shells and skeletons, as seen here in the diagram. Ocean acidification is the ongoing decrease in the pH of Earth's oceans, caused by the uptake of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Seawater is slightly basic, and the ocean acidification involves a shift towards pH-neutral conditions rather than a transition to acidic conditions. Our continued burning of fossil fuels is increasing the levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Most of the carbon dioxide that is released into the atmosphere ultimately ends up being in the oceans. Consequently, the oceans have been absorbing large amounts of carbon dioxide ever since the Industrial Revolution started, which was approximately in 1750. It is this increasing amount of carbon dioxide in the oceans that is causing ocean acidification. When carbon dioxide enters the ocean, it combines with seawater to produce carbonic acid, which increases the acidity of water, lowering its pH. Although it is unlikely that the ocean will ever become actual acid, or fall below a pH of 7, the term acidification refers to the process of the oceans becoming more acidic. A consequence of oceans becoming more acidic is the binding up of carbonate ions, which are used by marine creatures to make their calcium carbonate shells and skeletons. As the availability of carbonate ions decreases, it becomes more difficult for these animals to build their calcium carbonate structures. Imagine someone trying to build a house while someone else keeps stealing all their bricks. As oceans become more acidic, it will progressively become more difficult, if not impossible, to build calcium carbonate shells and skeletons. By the middle to end of this century, parts of the oceans will be corrosive enough that they will cause already formed calcium carbonate to dissolve. Thank you so much for watching.